Hey, hey, what's up, YouTube? This is John the Tech here from Linksville Automotive, uh, coming with to you with a new sneak peek video of kind of what our next new upgradable feature for our T-Star radios is going to be. So, one of the biggest questions that we get is if we will be able to make a uh, multiple camera or a 360 camera system for those who don't have the factory ones. Uh, we do have a way to retain the factory one for like the Ford, uh, but there's folks that have Fords that don't have the factory one, or we've got guys with uh, the Rams or Tundras or GMs and stuff that don't have the 360 camera or multiple cameras and they want them. Now, a little bit over a year ago, I did post a video showing off a 360 camera system we were working on, and we continued to work on that for a while, but we were just not happy with the amount of work it took to stitch the video together. It's a lot of work to kind of calibrate the whole bird's eye view. So we have decided to kind of pull back for a little bit until maybe technology changes a little bit. Maybe there's different programs that'll make that easier. Uh, and so what we decided to do instead is, years ago and still today, we make uh, camera interfaces for factory screens. So if you were to have a, I don't know, a Ford with the eight inch Sync 3 module, and you just had one camera and you wanted to add multiple, we had a module that would plug straight in between the factory screen and the, um, the touch panel and we would be able to project the different images and so we could give you a left camera, a right camera, a front camera, a cargo camera, a trailer camera and all of those cameras would be accessible and controllable from the factory touch screen. So what we did was we took that same idea, same technology and made a module that lets us do that exact same thing here on, on our T-Style radio. So we started off with the Ford simply because we already had half the work done because we, were, we have the module to retain the factory 360. So what we did was we started here, give it a test run, and here's where we are. Here's where our sneak peek comes from. So what I wanna do is show you real quick how it works. As far as the install is concerned, super easy. You pick the cameras. We're actually gonna develop a whole camera setup so they're kinda of snapped in. They look factory, uh, ones that like take over the, the emblems up front and stuff like that. So you, what you'll do is you'll install whichever cameras you're doing, whether you're using ours or you're purchasing your own, Run those cameras up to the module behind the radio. Now our module is gonna have RCA inputs for whichever camera you have and power. So we'll be able to power all your cameras. So just run your camera wires up to behind the screen. Let us control all that and power all that. Once it's all plugged in, go into our T-Style, say, hey, this is the multi-camera, I have it. And then it's gonna give you all the controls straight up on the screen. So this specific truck had the factory eight inch, just had the factory single camera in the tailgate and so what we did is we added a left camera we added a right camera we added a front camera and we added a uh, third brake light camera or a cargo camera so i'll show you real quick just kind of how it works uh, let me go ahead and split screen us and so if i was to say put the truck in reverse i'm going to back up and it's going to pop up there's the factory uh, reverse camera the one that's on the hitch or not the the one that's looking at the hitch and you can see the active guidelines are still there so if i turn the wheel uh, you still have the movement and all of that, but let's say you happen to be backing up into a fifth wheel and you need to be able to see the fifth wheel hitch, you can hit that cargo camera and now instead of seeing your hitch off your tailgate, you're going to see the bed. Now let's say you're towing a trailer and you want to see what's going on behind your trailer, right? Because if you're backing up, it doesn't do you any good to look at your bed and it doesn't do you any good to look at the hitch if you've got a trailer back there. So if you have a camera on the back of your trailer and you put it in reverse, you hit the trailer button. I don't have a trailer, sorry about that. But what you'll do is you'll see what's happening on behind your trailer, backing up, giving you a whole lot more safety as you back up your trailer. And then put it back in drive, put it in park or whatever, camera will turn off. We also added left and right side. So if I was to drive, uh, change in lanes, hit that left turn signal. Now there's my left side camera. You can see the side there. You can see my power plugs for my cameras. Uh, turn it off, goes back to whatever source you're listening to. Put on the right side camera and the right turn signal there's your right side camera pops up you can see the car next to me now all of these cameras you can interface or not interface but you can interchange like which one you want to see whenever it's triggered uh, we do have the camera icon there so you go ahead and hit the camera and you can see we got our front camera but let's say you you just want to happen to look at down the left side or maybe you want to look at the right side or perhaps you're driving down the road and you want to check your cargo uh, you can go ahead and click the cargo uh, again if you had the trailer uh, you could even put a camera inside your trailer and you can see what's going on inside your trailer. So for those of you who maybe are hauling uh, horses and you want to see what's going on with your horses back there, you could put a camera live and you can see a live feed of what's happening on your, on your radio uh, whenever you want. You can go ahead and back out and away it goes. So 
We should have these things available hopefully by the end of the year. I did want to do a little quick sneak peek video of it so you guys can see kind of how, the, how it functions. Uh, super seamless. I think the uh, on-screen icons are super nice. And like I said, there's not you're not going to have to run any wires when it comes to turn signals or reverse signals or any of that stuff. We're going to get all that information from the CAN bus. So your install is really mounting cameras and running RCAs to behind the radio and powering up your, uh, your cameras there and, and away it goes. So keep an eye out. We'll have this available here for all of our T-Styles. Uh, touchscreen control. It's a beautiful thing. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. Check out some of our other videos. Uh, keep your eyes out too. We've got a lot of new stuff coming out here at the end of the year. Hoping to do a lot of videos. Check out some of our IQ stuff. That IQ stuff is legit. It's pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, if you haven't subscribed, click that button. Subscribe. If you don't follow us on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, uh, come find us. Uh, we do a lot of stuff, social media, keeping things up to date of what's happening. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.